Good day everyone and welcome to Fierce Openings. I'm Michael Madison. Now all this open up for Toronto is inside the Battle of 89. 1999 this from 7 Sport and here we go. When he crossed the white line, he changed from friendly family pharmacist into one of the game's hard men. In Westfall on Westfall, the two-time Eagles Premiership captain relives a memorable and hard-hitting career. He tells it like he played it. No holds barred. Westfall on Westfall, the story of an Eagles legend is out now, along with Robert Harvey, the story so far, and Bix, the Mark Bickley story. The AFL Champion Series on video at these stores now. He achieved hero status in South Australia as the first Adelaide skipper to hold aloft the AFL Premiership Cup. To be a back-to-back -back Premiership captain has assured Mark Bickley's place in football folklore. In Bix, he goes behind the scenes. He tells the stories, relives the moments. Bix, the Mark Bickley story is out on video now, along with Robert Harvey, the story so far, and Worst Fold on Worst Fold, the AFL Champion Series. Get your copies at these stores now. Bucks, the Collingwood champion with the exquisite skills. Bucks, the man with the booming kick. Bucks, the captain of the most famous team in the land. This is the story you've been waiting for, the inner thoughts of Nathan Buckley, the man behind the decorated Collingwood star. Bucks, the Nathan Buckley story, joins Robert Hardy, John Westfold and Mark Bickley in the AFL Champion Series from Australian Football Video. Get your copies at these stores now. 1998 Brownlow Medal winner is Robert Harvey. He is the most decorated man in football today. St Kilda's prolific club champion. A back-to-back -back winner of the Brownlow Medal and at state level simply the best. Harves is an AFL champion and this is his story. The Saint with a big heart and superb skills. Robert Harvey, the story so far, is out on video now along with Worstfold on Worstfold and Fix. The AFL Champion Series gets your copies at these stores now. They said would never fall. It did and how. Lager 1300 is the story of the man behind the most famous goal kicking feat in history by the man himself, Tony Lockett. From shy St Kilda player into the most potent forward in 102 years of league footy. Lager 1300. The story, the highlights, the goals. It's all here in this special expanded video version presented by Jason Dunstall. Get your copy at these stores now. The fighting fury from Tigerland. The men who made Richmond great. From captains like Jack Dyer, right through until today. Hart, Shitty, Burke, Bartlett at their very best. The Premiership Times. The biggest stories. I'd like to be a success at Richmond. The controversies. One of the nastiest teams I've seen in football for years. Richmond's heroes tell the story of this footballing dynasty. The great Tigers take centre stage. This is the video that every Tiger supporter must have. Fighting fury. More than two unforgettable hours. Get your copy now. In May 1999, Hawthorne gathered its great players of the late 80s to a reunion dinner at the showroom of the Crown Casino in Melbourne. They were there to relive memories of a record-breaking win over Melbourne in the 1988 Grand Final and of a gut-wrenching and heart-stopping win over Geelong a year later. This is the story of the 1989 win, codenamed Operation Tackle. The story of a win that came at a cost and against the odds, told by the men who took Hawthorne to back-to-back -back premierships for the first time. This is the 1989 VFL Grand Final. On stage, Alan Jeans and his men could sit back and laugh now, ten years on. A lot of people don't know really, that's what they said before about a few injured players, so I actually split the webbing on 
my left hand and got seven stitches in my hand after the game. And if it had been a blood rule in those days, I would have been off. So we would have been playing with 17 men. So I was very fortunate those. And I remember the last quarter I went for a mark, but I went for one hand for the mark. It was on TV, but that's the reason why, OK? <laughs> It was a grand final campaign that had been meticulously planned by Coach Jeans and his Brains Trust. Knowing that Geelong was such an offensive side, I believe we had to break their game down by fierce tackling, so we called it Operation Tackle, and uh, just to emphasise that word tackle, and uh, that's how we prepared the players on that particular game. Let's have a look at this team of champions, and a champion team at that. As the Hawthorne players ran out onto the MCG that day in front of 94,000 people, they had the vision of their mission implanted in their minds. The video seen on Thursday night at Glen Ferry and again in the bowels of the MCG that day was simple and understated. Pay the price. Make up for the failures of 1984 and 87. To win the game that we just had to break them down and uh, we knew if we got around about you know, 40 tackles in the game that uh, we'd have every chance of breaking their game down and winning the game. So that was where the focus was placed on. Dermot and that's the end of tonight's video, Sobertings. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Monday night. It's only on Patterson AFL. Good night, everyone.